Hello, this is Max Fritz here, a Teams technical specialist at Microsoft focused on the health and life sciences industry. I'm going to talk to you today about virtual rounding using Microsoft Teams in a healthcare environment. This is specifically designed to address the COVID-19 crisis currently affecting the entire world. The problem we're trying to ad address here revolves around rounds. On a regular basis, any given provider at a hospital may make dozens if not hundreds of rounds per day. These quick check-ins on patients are intended to provide a status check on how the patient is doing and ensure the patient's concerns are addressed. In the case of a patient with an assumed or known infectious disease, such as COVID-19, providers will use personal protective equipment, such as gloves or masks. Unfortunately, though, Due to the current COVID-19 crisis, many hospitals in the United States and around the world are running low on protective equipment. This will soon put healthcare workers at immense risk for infection. Many healthcare workers are finding themselves wondering when, not if, they will cont contract the novel coronavirus. On top of all of this, hospitals are seeing an influx of patients that is only expected to continue growing, putting additional strain on providers and resulting in additional rounding needs. These additional rounding needs usually also result in needs for additional protective equipment that has to be either interchanged daily or between patients. So how can hospital systems address this pending issue? We've put together a solution using Microsoft Teams meetings to help providers perform virtual rounds when appropriate for their patients. Our solution is built around the Teams meetings capability that is already included with Microsoft Teams today. Each room will be set up with a device locked to Microsoft Teams. This device could be a Surface, an Android, an iPad, or even a room system that already may be existing in that patient room. The account signed into that Teams device will have all features disabled and necessary to ensure that no PHI can be transferred through that device and that the patients can't access anything they shouldn't. This includes things like meeting chat and recording, and browsing your directory and other essential features that your employees normally do need to access through Teams. Your providers then will be members of Teams for each building or location that they work at. Through that team, they can access through the channel list, to see the different floors or different sublocations, and then access the ongoing meetings of the patient rooms. They will have one-click links to join in to the patient rooms to check in on their patients and conduct their virtual rounds. Let's take a look at how this will work. As we can see here, we're logged into Microsoft Teams. We're logged in as a patient room on an iPad. This iPad is set up with Microsoft Intune to prevent the patient from leaving the Teams application using kiosk mode. As we can see, there's an ongoing appointment that can be joined. Before a patient enters the room, ideally a nurse or another provider on the floor would ensure that this device is joined to the meeting ahead of time so the patient has limited interaction with the device. They'll do that by tapping the Join button and hitting Join Now. Once they're in the joined experience, they can turn off the camera if it has the desired experience for the hospital system, but they should leave the microphone unmuted so that when the doctor does join the meeting, the patient can hear the doctor and the doctor can hear the patient. As we can see here, there is no meeting chat or meeting recording ability, keeping things secure for the patient perspective and making sure that we are not storing any PHI in this meeting. This meeting will continue to be used for any patients that rotate in and out of this room and use this device. If our patient does happen to hang up the meeting and navigate through the Microsoft Teams application, we can see here that their ability to do anything in the Teams application is severely limited. They will see some buttons, but most of the buttons are going to either be not functional or not allow them to see anything. The calendar application is what we are limiting the capacity to for this patient. Let's now look at a patient's experience while sitting in a room waiting for a doctor. They can see themselves almost as if in a mirror because their video is on and their microphone is on. Again, if you leave video off, they will not be able to see themselves. It's clear to the patient that they are the only person in this meeting and that they are waiting for a doctor to join them. 
we can see that a doctor has now joined the meeting and the patient is able to interact with said doctor. The doctor can then leave the meeting and the patient is back on their own. As a provider, I open up the Microsoft Teams client, either on my full PC or on my mobile device. Here, we have it on my computer. At the bottom, I can see Building 1 exam rooms. I can see the floors or the sublocations that I need to get access to. Additionally, I would have access to any additional buildings that might be relevant to me. I go ahead and I click on the floor that I need to find a room for, and I click Join a Room. This will show me a SharePoint list with one-click join buttons to any of the rooms that I need to pop into. Let's go ahead and check in on the patient in room 307. We'll click Join Meeting, and it will open up a Microsoft Teams meeting for us. I'll hide my background to make sure that the patient doesn't see any of the potential PHI information that might be on the wall behind me. I click Join, and we're instantly in with the patient. We'll go ahead and let this patient go by hanging up the call. Any other provider then is able to check in on that patient later in the day. I can then go back to my Teams and check in on additional patients by clicking the Join Meeting or by navigating my floors. Thank you for joining here today. We hope you found this helpful. And to learn more information, please go to aka.ms slash Teams Virtual Rounding or contact your local Microsoft account representative.